Hello everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Tier. Tier is a script for a program block and he'll monitor your ship. He'll keep track of which blocks are on and off, which blocks are damaged or hacked, and if he detects damage or hacking, he'll turn on your defenses. He can also draw pretty pictures. I'm going to teach you how to install him and all of his features right now. We're going to do it real slow. You won't lose track of anything. This ship is a vanilla ship and that's fine because although you can get tier in a mod, he's just a script. Even if he's not installed on the server, you can put that script into a program block no problem. You don't have to worry about it being included. And that makes him ideal for multiplayer servers where you don't have control over what mods go in. This vanilla ship is the sort of thing you might build with a friend in survival mode if you wanted to have a cool survival mode ship. It's just about perfect for survival mode uh, if you've got enough resources to build it. And if you wanted to get along with people, you have some turrets for self-defense, but you can turn them off, right? Because that way they won't attack anyone. But not all players are friendly. A lot of pl players want to hack you or try and attack you, and that's uh, really obnoxious. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off all of our turrets, and we're going to set them to attack anyone who's not on our faction. And if a player comes along and he's well-behaved, that's fine. It's not going to attack him, and we can set up our ship to allow him to trade or all, whatever whatever we like. But if he comes across our ship and he tries to hack it, those turrets will all come online and shoot him. So that's nice. At this point, you're going to want to transfer everything over to yourself, just to make sure that there's no permissions issues. And if you have LCD panels you plan to use as status indicators, change them to showing the public text. So this is where we'll stick tier. Now if you've ever installed mmasters mod, you already know this part, because what we have to do is we have to find the code and put it in. Ooh. And uh, then what you need to do is you need to make sure that this gets run, because it doesn't run itself. We can hit run, but we want it to run without our, our interference. So we have a timer block, and we're just going to make this timer block run it. I'm going to call this timer block program timer because that's what Tier expects it to be called. Tier will be able to find any block that's named correctly and activate it. So if Tier needs to run more frequently than once a second, he'll call this program block with a trigger now and he'll run every tick. It's very nice. Now you can see that this program block, or this timer block, just calls the program block and itself, which creates a nice little loop, which every second Tier gets called. And that's the basic idea. As I said, if Tier decides he needs to run more frequently, he'll overload that timer block, make it run every tick. But that is pretty wasteful, so that's not what he does normally, because that would waste some resources. It's a lot of extra computation. Moreover, Tier has a little feature that you have to understand right up front. Normally, in my games, I run with more than 10 AI programs running at all times. You know, two or three AI programs per ship, scattered across a couple of ships. If any of them waste CPU cycles or have a memory leak, that's really bad. It can crash the game, and it has crashed the game. So Tier is optimized so that he never wastes any memory, and that means that he only scans for blocks when he first wakes up. After that, he scans all of those blocks that he knows about, but he won't keep looking for new blocks, and he won't know that their names have changed. This is important because if we decide we want Tier to uh, find new blocks and understand you know, that we've built a whole bunch of stuff or that we've renamed things for him, we have to reboot him. One way to reboot him is to edit and then hit remember and exit. That'll reboot him. But there's actually an easier way. Tier is set up so that if you have any device called Reboot with a capital R, when you turn it on, Tier will automatically reboot and then turn the device off. Now all of my AI are hooked into the same system, so if I had nine AI aboard this ship and I hit the reboot button, they would all reboot. And that's pretty helpful. It's unlikely to help you, but it helps me. <laughs> but what this means is I've already got a light named reboot. And I've just set it up so that if I hit this button, the light gets turned on. 
There we go. And now he's rebooted. And we're going to have to do that whenever we make a significant change to the ship. This is more important in creative mode where you'll be building and unbuilding and all that sort of stuff. But even in survival mode there are times when it's going to be useful. What else can Tyr do? Optional timer to run if Tyr goes into alert status due to hacking or damage. Alarm timer. That sounds like a good idea. So we'll name this Alarm Timer, and we will set it up to run a sound block. Warning, enemy detected. Cool. We could also set it up to close doors and seal things and vent things or even self-destruct, but I think this will work okay. We have to reboot Tier, but let's just do it by hitting the button. So now what happens? Well, if we go out here, you can see that I've turned all the turrets off. But what happens if some ne'er-do-well decides to start hacking the ship? Well, Tyr will detect it. Keep in mind, Tyr can only detect functional blocks. So if someone is hacking windows or uh, armor blocks, Tyr won't be able to tell. But if they try and hack this... Enemy detected. There you go. All your turrets turn on. Tyr is ready for action. Everything is working great. Tyr has some more things it can do. All of the rest of its things are LCD screen related. There are three LCD screens that Tier is going to use. The two we're going to talk about first are the Tier Log and the Tier Status. None of these screens are necessary, but Tier Log and Tier Status are uh, useful enough, I guess. Tier Log will tell you what Tier is thinking, and Tier Status will tell you what Tier thinks of the ship. But Tier doesn't know they've been renamed, so we're going to have to reboot. There we go. So Tier's big complaint is that he can't draw because there's no map panel, and Tier says that we're in an optimal situation. Well, let's go ahead and turn off all of our turrets. Oh, look. Tier noticed that all of our turrets got turned off. Well, let's go ahead and, um, delete the med bay. That was a window. That's the med bay. Offline. Medical room 3. Yep, Tyr can detect when uh, blocks are destroyed or damaged. Now, Tyr does um, have an interesting time trying to tell the difference between a block that you manually deleted like that and a block that was simply knocked off the grid for another reason. In actual combat situations, he'll register it as destroyed. Oh yeah, and if a block is completely blown away, Tyr will still remember it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, if you lose something, Tyr won't immediately forget it. So if we, for example, had one of these big engines in the back got blown off, Tyr would remember that the, there was a big engine back there and it was destroyed. Which is handy. Tells you how much damage you took during any given firefight. Let's go ahead and see what else Tyr can do. The last thing Tyr can do is draw a map. He's looking for an LCD called Tyr Map. So let's go ahead and rename one of those LCDs Tyr Map. I'm also going to delete the LCD on top, because that wasn't supposed to be there. And of course... Oh, what's this? Oh, it looks like our font is too big. Let's bring our font size down. 0.6? No, 0.6. There we go. Floor, negative 10. Negative 9, negative 8. Oh, look at that. Yep, Tyr can draw a picture of your ship. And you can actually modify exactly how he draws it. There's a whole bunch of variables you can tweak if you feel the need. But for us, this is fine. You can see that we've got those giant solar panels in the back. And, uh, and those are very evident by uh, how Tyr is drawing the ship. But there are a couple of things that I would like to change. I would like to make this more compressed, so I'm going to bring the compression up. That way it's not going to be quite as stringy. Uh, and also, I would like Tier to understand when he should be drawing it faster. So we have to create a sensor called Tier I.
Alright, so we've got a ship here and it's being animated. It's a little a little bit blocky. Hmm. You know, I've changed my mind. I don't want it to be like that. So let's go back into tier core and turn that back down so it's nice and stringy again. And instead let's fudge it. And that way we'll spread out our um, our blocks a little bit. This is a little bit dangerous because the uh, game might get upset that it's taking too many operations to run, but it looks like we're okay. And you can see that what that does is it kind of blurs our ship into a larger set of blocks. Tyr has a number of different kinds of uh, functions that he uh, symbols that he runs for each t for for the status of the block. So he'll run with a hashtag uh, or with an at sign or with a number of other things to show you the state of any given block. You'll notice that the blocks are not uh, it's kind of def it's deformed. It doesn't doesn't line up right. That's because unfortunately um, the monospace font is not available. So this is quite difficult. Now, Tier can run with a more useful set of code. Uh, he can, for example, just look for air vents and show you whether air vents are charged and pressurized or not. But because this is an overview, I'm going to leave him like this. And I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and bring that blur down some. It's a little bit too much blur. But you may have noticed something. Tier is drawing really, really fast now. That's because we made something called the Tier Eye. And as long as we are standing within the Tier Eye's range, Tier will draw uh, very, very rapidly. And that gives us the ability to overview the ship quite quickly rather than waiting a second for every meter. Now, if the distortion really bothers you, you can try and tweak the characters that Tier uses to draw things, or you can tilt the ship. But, in this case, I think this is good enough for me. Um, once we get monospace fonts in there, things will be a lot better. It can't be too far out, can it? Nah, surely. Surely not. So this is what the ship looks like when Tier is fully operational. We've got Tier telling us what's off, what's damaged. We've rebooted, so Tier's forgotten about the medical station. Let's go ahead and put the medical station back in. We're also going to need to put that window back in. I broke it. Sorry, window. I didn't mean to. Was it the 2 by... Nope. Oh. I'm uh, not having a great time of it today, am I? Let's try this one more time here. There we go. Much better. And the medical station. There we are. Everything's back to normal. Everything's repaired and working. Tears happy. Everyone's happy. Alright, with this in mind, this is a perfectly suitable ship. And it responds to people who come aboard friendly, if they're friendly. Or mean, if they're mean. And uh, if you wanted to, you could easily make it so that the doors would open for any player who came aboard, but they would lock if someone tried to hack the ship, and the turrets would turn on and turn them into paste. So it's a good way to make your ship shared as much as you want it to be shared, and uh, not shared as much as you don't want it to be. You know, Make it immune to hacking, make it immune to getting shot at, uh, and have a fun time with it. Now this ship will be available on the workshop as well as tier as a standalone script download. You can get either or both, as you prefer. Uh, this ship is perfectly suitable. Uh, it's a little bit sluggish, but it is just a refinery vessel, so what do you expect? I haven't come up with a name for it, but it's probably going to be something stupid like the Tiramisu. Uh, kind of looks like a spider face. Maybe I'll call it the spider face. Anyway, that's tier, and uh, it wasn't too bad, I don't think, to set up. I hope not, because it's really useful. Um, and uh, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and download it, take a look, see if it fits into your own ship.